Hello, and welcome to an AES Drilling Fluids Tech Tip. We'll address basic drilling fluids concepts to help you address far more complex problems in the future. In this tech tip, we'll discuss bayrite, an essential weighting material for most drilling fluids. The material is essential to provide a hydrostatic column to control formation pressures and keep the wellbore open. It is blended throughout the drilling fluid and suspended using other additives. Bayrite is a preferred weighting agent because it is almost entirely insoluble in most drilling environments and sufficiently resilient to maintain particle size while drilling. While a critical component for drilling fluids, it is also found in cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, and other industries. In 2017, approximately 70% of bayrite produced was used for drilling fluids in the oil and gas industry. Bayrite was originally used as a paint pigment, providing a cost-effective alternative to lead. It found its way into the drilling fluids market in the mid-1920s as an effective weight material. Bayrite is the term for barium sulfate. It has a specific gravity of 4.5. Commercial grades of bayrite are lower due to contaminants that reduce the overall specific gravity. The specific gravity of bayrite is a topic of considerable discussion. Higher specific gravity materials require less volume of solids to achieve a target density. This effect is not as drastic in low density muds. It is more pronounced in higher density muds, where a considerably larger amount of bayrite is required. Consequently, higher density muds will then have a higher plastic viscosity due to a higher percentage of solids also increasing costs for other products, such as wetting agents. With that being said, in the continual pursuit of cheaper products, lower specific gravity should remain under consideration given the overall economics. Cost and availability of higher specific gravity ore can be an issue as supply of quality material diminishes. The first API specification for Bayrite in 1950 actually had three specifications, which included a specific gravity of 4.25. In 1958, the specification was then lowered to 4.2 SG. In 2010, the specification was lowered to 4.1 SG. While specific gravity is a central area of conversation, API 13A also specifies the particle size where a maximum of 3% of particles are greater than 75 microns and a maximum of 30% of the particles are less than 6 microns. Water-soluble alkaline earth metals, such as calcium, are limited to 250 milligrams per kilogram. Other distributions, particularly fine grind bayrite, is used to mitigate sag in complex wells. Technically, this is not API bayrite, but it may otherwise meet all of the requirements. API 13K provides the recommended practice for chemical analysis of bayrite, typically through wet chemical analysis, although it does not specify limitations. Bayrite costs continue to rise while the availability of quality ore continues to diminish. Alternative weight materials are continually under evaluation, but bayrite remains the weight material of choice for most drilling fluid applications. Bayrite is a global commodity, meaning that the price is set by worldwide supply and demand. When supply is restricted in one location, prices increase globally. Transportation costs vary based upon a number of factors beyond the location of the ore. For example, China imports substantial amounts of soybeans from the United States. The vessels arrive in China to offload soybeans and many return with raw materials, including bayrite ore, to the United States. When China placed tariffs on American soybeans, many of these vessels were rerouted to other regions of the globe, particularly South America. This reduced the number of vessels available to carry bayrite from China, increasing costs. In 2019, AES Drilling Fluids partnered with other drilling fluid providers to ensure Bayrite remained exempt from a proposed 25% tariff on Chinese minerals. China produces about 40% of the global supply. Other countries which are large producers of Bayrite include India and Morocco. Another example is the new environmental restrictions on shipping fuels. The change to low sulfur diesel both increases fuel costs and restricts available vessels to those with converted engines to handle the cleaner fuel. In most cases, price differentiation is limited to transportation and manufacturing for the same quality of material. Traditionally, the mined ore is shipped to a grinding mill for processing. The mill grinds raw ore into the fine powder material used in drilling fluid. The ore may be a blend of higher and lower quality ore to achieve the target specific gravity. 
Depending on the source, Bayrite may vary in color and still meet all requirements for API Bayrite. There is no specification for color. Finished Bayrite is available as SAC material, but its preferred conveyance method is pneumatic transfer, particularly with heavy mud weights. Another concern is not the Bayrite, but the other material that lowers the overall specific gravity. Studies have shown that much of the non-Bayrite material is quartz, which is highly abrasive. This increases the risk of damage to equipment, among other concerns. In summary, Bayrite is essential to drilling operations. As a commodity, price fluctuation is based primarily on origin, quality, and transportation costs. Given the wide range of minerals that can be associated with Bayrite ore, when it comes to this essential drilling fluid additive, securing a quality supply should remain top priority. That concludes this AES Drilling Fluids Tech Tip. Stay tuned for the next one, and if you want to learn more, have a listen to The Flowline, our podcast. And if you want to improve your drilling fluid performance, please reach out to us at AES Drilling Fluids, where better fluids equal better wells.